What's happened is that the Environment and Climate Change Minister, um, Catherine McKenna, has made an announcement that if the Liberals are re-elected, the carbon tax that they put in place, which will be in 2022 $50 per ton of emissions, will probably go up. Now that's unusual. Why before an election would the minister say, we're probably going to raise your taxes after ele the election? That's odd enough. But what's really odd is that that is a direct contradiction of what she said less than two months ago. Less than two months ago, the uh, parliamentary budget officer came out and said, if you're going to hit your emission reduction targets that Justin Trudeau, the, the prime minister, signed as part of the Par Paris Climate Accord, you're going to have to at least more than double the um, carbon uh, tax that you've said you're going to do post-2022. And she responded, no, it's going to be frozen at 2022. Everybody who understood the numbers went, that's impossible. At the time, two days after she said that, I wrote a column saying, that's ludicrous. Their whole climate change agenda is based on a steadily rising carbon tax that will go beyond $50 per ton in 2022. It basically turned what they were saying into a farce. Why she said it, I have no idea. The only thing I can think of is that she didn't understand her briefing notes at the time. The reason she has to contradict herself now is because otherwise they were going to be hammered on this all through the election. Your own study said it would have to be more stringent. The parliamentary budget said it would have to be higher. How can you possibly say it isn't going to be higher? Um, so this is sort of a correction. But the irony is that in order to correct it, she has to say the exact opposite of what she said two months ago. To me, what it all shows is what Kim Campbell, the former Progressive Conservative Prime Minister said in 1993, an election is no time to discuss serious issues. And that when talking heads like me and academics and politicians say it's important for you to follow the policy issues during the debate, it's utter nonsense. If a minister is going to contradict herself in the space of a few weeks on a fundamental policy according to this government, then, then why, how can we believe anything any of them say? Either she's telling the truth now, or she's lying now, or she was telling the truth two months ago, or she wasn't telling the truth. That's the problem we have, not just with this issue, but with modern politics. In any event, we want to hear what you think. Please let us know on Twitter and Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.